Shall we begin? Hey, it's Boo and welcome back to the Chanel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to wear those hip pads perfectly. So, let's get on with today's video. Hey, pretty in pink boy body Boo. First, what you want to do is get your hip pads that we made in the previous video. I will leave a link below so you can get back to that video. You're going to want to shape the hip pads around your body like so. I advise having a pair of tights done up to the knees, ready to catch the hip pads as they're going in. We're going to be using my older hip pads today just for a little bit of quickness. First, what we're going to do is place on the hip pads. I keep mine all the time in a pair of tights. Over a period of time, because you can't really wash them, I have had to cut off the feet. Once you've got these on and they are shaped correctly around your body, you will want to get yourself a pair of Spanx. I get mine from Primark. You can get the shorter ones like this, or you can also get longer ones that go down to your knees. They definitely want to be very tight when you put them on as your normal body, so that when you put them on with the hip pads on, it's gonna pull everything in and help everything look nice and smooth up around where the hips are and the waistline is. It's also gonna help pull in the hip pads at the top to give you that nice shape. Once your pulley and knee spanks are on and they're fitted well, check that if you have cut the tights off at the knees that they are rolled down as smoothly as you can. And then I go in my first pair of tights. These are a very thick denier pair of tights. I go for an orange. I get these again from Primark. Um, I think there are 60 denier, maybe an 80 denier, but they're a very, very thick pair of tights. This helps smooth out the first layer. As you go in to put them on, check that if you have again cut under the knee with the tights that you keep on the pads, that you smoothen that down as you lift that first one on. The more and more layers of tights you get on, the harder it will be to, to get that your hands down to actually smooth that roll out. So make sure you do it early, early on. If you are a regular queen and you're getting a lot of pain in your toes, you can also put a piece of cotton between the big toe or whichever toes are affecting you, between each toe if you need to, and then put on the first pair of tights. This is an absolute godsend for me when I'm working many hours into the night. Then we're going to go with our next pair, which mine were actually once upon a dream white, but I actually wash all my under pairs of tights together. So over time, it just gets a very orangey, natural, nude colour to the, the tights. Now, let me tell you about tights. Drag queen tights are absolutely disgusting. So, you know, we're out on our feet for a long, long time. So our under tights, they get so stained. I always use dance tights. Dance tights are so durable for doing drag. And some of these tights that you're seeing me put on here, I have had for five years. Hence the really bad staining in areas, but they smooth out what I need to smooth out. And I finish, it, finish always with very good tights. If you were to be wearing boots or something that people weren't going to see your feet, you could always use footless tights as well or leggings that are in the correct colour to, to smooth everything out and look like natural legs. And depending on what you're wearing and what you're going to, the outfit's going to be, depends on how many tights you're going to need to put on. This look, I think I think it's sort of maybe five or six pairs of tights that I had. That was for wearing a knee length skirt. So I knew that I only really need to show the bottom part of my leg and I didn't need full smoothness all the way up to the top. If I am wearing a bikini or something that is gonna show off the hips more, I tend to wear probably eight pairs of tights um, just to smooth everything out and to try and 
get rid of the sort of knock that I have on the left hand side hip that you can see. This is why I did make the new pads because over time they get they get worn down and bits break off. Now these are the top pair that I'm using. Again, showing that I use dance tights. Again, they're just thick and they're durable. I also use show tights. So if I'm gonna be, again, wearing a show costume or bikini, I will always finish with show tights that have got that real high sheen gloss that just make the legs look absolutely gorgeous. While we let half a boo boo do what she needs to do do, I'd just like to thank you for watching my videos. If you have anything you'd like me to, to do for you on a video, if you've got any questions, please just ask away, put them in the comments, send me a DM, slip in darling, let's connect. Let's connect with dialect. <laughs>once you've got her all pulled and looking lovely luscious and smooth and oh no we've got a roll so roll it back up roll it up roll it up roll it up and there we go looking luscious smooth and ready for the costume bam yeah. there she goes mama there she goes looking fine as a glass of wine so if you've enjoyed my video, please press all my buttons and hopefully our boo-boo will see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye for now. <laughs>